Hello everybody, just thought I'd do another update on some of the new films I've got. did one not too long ago, but that was mostly a backlog of the last few months where I'd got some and hadn't shown it for a while. I uh, went into town, which is like Bristol is my local um, sort of city, so I went into HMV and CEX, sex, whatever you call it, I think it's the only places. So I got this Evil Dead Rise, which I've been waiting to see for a while. I was going to see it back when it was at the cinema, but I just didn't have time with work and things. I uh, watched this one last night, um, it was good, pretty gory, pretty tense, I wouldn't exactly say scary, but yeah, some like intense scenes, some pretty inventive gore, uh, especially at the start, I think a bit of the gore was a bit CGI, I think the one near the start didn't look too great, but some of the gore later seemed more practical, was really good, um, a few silly bits in it, I'm not going to spoil it, but the bit with the eyeball, I would say is a bit sort of, it depends, if you go into it, just you know, what in a sort of horror romp and a laugh, then it's good, but obviously you don't expect to take it seriously as such, an Evil Dead film about, like, demons possessing people, but there's one or two bits where I thought it was a bit too sort of silly, to be fair, but yeah, on the whole, enjoyable film, one of the, um, well, I'd say one of the better, is, I wouldn't say it's better than the remake, probably not even better than the Evil Dead 2 and 3, maybe better than the original, even though it's a classic, it's just aged quite badly, but yeah, it was enjoyable film quite gory i did go in there to get um the pope's exorcist but they only have that on dvd for some reason i don't really buy dvds anymore plus it was like 10 pound on dvd so i might i think i did see it on the um on youtube you can buy it to rent or to buy i think rent is only about 6.99 so i've had good, good things about the pope's exorcist with um russell crowe in it um and then there was another film I was gonna, I was looking for as well, but they just didn't have it in stock. I might remember in a minute. But anyway, moving on. So then Arrow, basically in HMV, Arrow had a sale on. Um, so this one I think was only eight ninety nine or so. Seen this one when I was a kid, but can't really remember it too much. Um, remember the old, I won't open it yet, but the reversible artwork. I remember seeing that in the video shop all the time when I was younger. I think this one's based on a novel. Um, yeah, I think it's more of like a kind of family drama, maybe some like incest themes or something. I can't remember it, but they had all of them were reduced, some more than others, some more newer ones in these dual cases were down to like eleven ninety nine, but this one was eight ninety nine. I thought if I don't pick it up when it's reduced, then I probably sort of never get around to picking it up because it's not one I'm really dying to see. So yeah, I've got that. Um Edge of Sanity with Anthony Perkins. Uh, I've heard of this before, and it was a pretty good front cover, but never seen it. But yeah, obviously after being in Psycho and Psycho 2, but Psycho 2 especially, a later role, I think it was like 20 years after Psycho, he's really good in, so I'm looking forward to seeing him in this. It does look like on the actual inside that it's got, um, I can't think of his name, uh, Lance Henriksen, but I don't know if it actually is him, but not watched that one yet so i'll see what i think enter the void i own this one on dvd seen this years ago gaspar noy film got most of his films most are quite sort of shocking or disturbing um found it quite boring to tell you the truth when i watched it years ago i think it's over two hours but um again it's just some that i want in the collection to sort of get all the um gaspar noy ones um don't think they've released um, Irreversible or I Stand Alone on Arrow, but they do his other film. Oh, I don't think what it's called at the moment. It's basically like a dance troupe and they're celebrating someone spikes the punch, but that's pretty messed up and probably the best of his newer ones. But yeah, again, I think this one was like eight ninety nine in the sale. So I just wanted to get it whilst it was cheap. Same as this one. Also a Gaspar Noy with a nice slip cover, really nice colourful cover. Uh, with Charlotte Gainsbourg, I've seen an Antichrist, and Beatrice Dahl, I think you say it, which is from Inside, which is one of my best, our favourite extreme horror films, especially from like the French wave. Yeah, I think this is only like 56, 51 minutes, and it's shot over like five days. So I think it's in one take, a bit like, oh, Climax, yeah, that's the name of that newer one I was on about with dance scenes. Um, and you've got The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. I think I've seen this when I was a kid, and I didn't go too much on it, but I haven't seen it in a long time, so I will, will, will re-watch it. And um, obviously it's the collector's edition. Yeah, I kept seeing this in HMV when it was full price at twenty four ninety nine, so I wasn't too interested. But in the sale, I think this went down to about fourteen ninety nine, which is the price of a standard Blu-ray, so I thought I'd pick it up whilst it's that price. Um, 
The original Hills Have Eyes is quite good. I think I did prefer the remake to Tell the Truth, which I don't usually like the remakes better, but remake's a bit more up to date. The number two sort of remake is not very good at all, whereas this original one, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of it, but um, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, the other film I was um, looking at, I want 100%, was called Skinamarink, I think. But I um, heard really mixed things about that to the point some people hate it, some people love it, some people say it's like boring and not much is going on. I think it's what you call like liminal horror. Uh, but if anybody's seen it, let me know. Maybe I will pick it up. So I think it's only about £12. Um, and then there was another one. Oh yeah, Renfield with Nicholas Cage and Nicholas Holt, which again I've heard mixed things. Not as uh, sort of um, polarising as Skinner Inc, but... Yeah, I heard some people say it's funny and it's great, and other people say they didn't like it at all. So I think it was like £15, I went 100% on whether to pick that up. So if anyone's seen Renfield, then yeah, let me know what you think of it. And this one is the Phantasm Arrow Collector set, with the all five. First f two or three, I well, I basically I own, I think I've done a video on it, of the Phantasm, the Sphere. Um, it's like a little collector set, like the little thing you're seeing on the front behind the tall man. Um... I think that's got the first four films. I think they kind of... One, two are good. Three... I think three or four is actually surprisingly good. But the new one called Ravager, I've not actually seen. I think all of these are directed by Don Coscarelli. But yeah, I got this one in uh, CEX. Second hand for £28. But as you can see, it's like perfect condition. Got all the discs and everything. And um, yeah, like I said, I've got the Phantasm films on DVD. But... Nice to have them on Blu-ray with a better update. Um, and then, yeah, I just obviously just a nice one to go in the collection. I thought for that price, I'd pick it up whilst it was there. And, yeah, sometimes you see these and they're, like, a bit battered and things. These, like, box sets in CX. So it was quite nice to find it in good condition. Um, yeah, that's all the ones I've got. Um, probably won't get any more this month. So it might be a little while till I do an update. But, yeah, if anybody... Um, seen skin of a rink or renfield and thinks they're good or thinks they're worth getting then let me know or let me know otherwise if you hated them or just found them sort of alienating or whatever but yeah more skin of a rink i've heard like the worst things about but it does kind of interest me the sort of um original film it is uh but yeah thanks everybody uh, i'll be back again soon maybe with some reviews or another update in a month or so thank you for watching bye